Hello everyone, this is Jurite, and I'm bringing you a comparison video of the LEDs and the incandescent bulbs of my 2015 WRX. Just in case you're thinking about getting LEDs on your vehicle, just want to let you know that LEDs are brighter by 1500 lumens, and they make a nice purple white color as compared to the yellow dull white color of the stock bulbs. They're nowhere near as bright and these are the DRLs you can see and they are much brighter much more noticeable during the day which DRLs are a safety feature so them being brighter would make them safer here goes the parking lights and they are that same 6000K purple white um, don't let my horrible camera fool you these do make a purpler color than the blue that you see right now these are the low beams. They are much brighter on the LEDs than on the stock bulbs. Whereas the stock, it's hard to see, especially in the rain. With the LEDs, it's much easier to see, especially in the rain. And on to the high beams. They are just as bright as they are with the DRLs. I'm convinced that DRLs run out 100% and not 50% on this vehicle I don't know about other vehicles and they are very bright another nice thing is when the high beams come on they come on very fast just like the low beams LEDs um, these are comparison of nighttime pictures I took while driving on a very dark road you'll be able to see more on, on the side of the road so don't let these pictures and my horrible cameras fool you your eyes will be able to see more with the LEDs especially the side of the roads and the arc and how far the arc goes these are high beams and we're getting towards the end of all the pictures and now you're going to be looking at some rear license plate pictures as you can see before just like the parking lights are the same bulb the LEDs are much brighter to the point where they actually pierce through the red of the rear lights where you can actually see them and the stock lights you can't even see them all right now we're gonna go on to the videos now as I stated my cameras aren't that good your eyes are better than any camera you're gonna capture way more light the Samsung stock app is actually bad for taking nighttime videos I recommend using the stock Google camera app for taking nighttime videos they capture the nighttime a lot better. That being said, you'll still be able to see how little the actual light of the incandescent bulb goes. It doesn't go very far ahead. You can see what lights reflecting, you know, cars and signs and stuff like that. And right here, you can see the low beam, high beam. And now we're going to move on to the same drive, but with the stock Google app and LEDs. Now, one thing you might have noticed with the incandescent video and this, that arc, you can see where the LED lights stop producing light and it stops going out. You can see that line on the truck it doesn't go any higher than that. Um, I was actually moving my S view out the way. It didn't make much difference. And the light goes further out than it did with the incandescence. You could tell that from this. But like I said, bad cameras, blah, blah, blah. But you can take my word for it. Your human eye is going to catch a whole lot more light with the LEDs. As we move into more footage of incandescent and LEDs, right now incandescent, 
you might be thinking, why don't I just get HID? Well, these LEDs are a whole lot simpler of a build. They're more bulb-like than, you know, a complicated system of wires and etc. etc. These are easy plug and play. You don't have to worry about changing grounds and making sure these wires line up and where am I going to put the um, ba ballast and stuff like that. It's just one single unit. You can see what they look like from the unboxing video I made. Link in the description. And you'll be able to see that it's just one simple thing. It has a little fan in the back, which you won't be able to hear while you're driving or in the car. But if you're outside the car and you have the lights on, you might be able to hear a little buzzing noise from the, the fan. And all you got to do is just plug them in, put them where they belong, and you're good to go. Installing, of course, on my vehicle was a little difficult because I had to move the battery out of the way to get to the corner. And then I had to move the airbox out of the way in order to get to the corner of the lights as well. But other than that, it's undo, unplug, plug them in, put them in, you're done. You don't have to mount anything else. You don't have to test them. Well, you do got to test them. But it's a simple job. And here goes some more of that bad nighttime footage. Um, I know for a fact this footage was captured with my camcorder. And like I was saying, the Samsung app for catching nighttime footage is bad. The Google app's better. But then maybe, maybe, the nighttime footage was so bad with the incandescent bulbs that the LEDs made the nighttime footage look that much better. Because when you think about it, the LEDs create a wider, better light. So all the other lights that you see, you know, sides of the roads, the other cars, and all the other lights that you could see aren't as bright as the lights that are projecting on the road from the LEDs on the vehicle. So it's possible that even my DXG 595V HD camcorder couldn't capture enough of my headlights to where all the other lights were just brighter by comparison. That shows you that LEDs, these, are brighter than all the other lights being projected as compared to the camera that's taking the footage. So that also means that you, the person that's driving, will be able to see better, further, clearer with brighter lights on your vehicle in the case of these LEDs. Uh, pricing. You shouldn't be paying more than $100 for these LEDs. Anywhere between $80 and $90 is about where you should be paying. Um, like like I said, Subi Speed sells these and you can also find these very same ones on eBay. Um, be careful because there are some LEDs that aren't one single unit. There's some LEDs that are more like HIDs where they have the bulb or diode and then a box to um, power the diode and then you don't want that that's you at that point you might as well just buy HID and then worry about changing the ballast every few years because they do go bad after a amount of time whereas the life of a LED lasts a whole lot longer than HID which is one reason why you might say eh, maybe I won't get HID because I don't want to have to worry about changing bulbs out every year or two. So I think I've covered pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video as far as 
verbally what I needed to say. Um, I think I'll talk about something from 2003, 2004, back when Fast and the Furious first came out. And there were these bulbs that were called Super White, and they created this not too white blue color and the cops gave such a hassle to all the owners of vehicles of those but anyway I won't get into that but one thing was the brightness of those weren't that good and one thing I noticed when I had those on my old Honda back in the day in the rain you couldn't see blue is not the color you want to use on your low beams or fog lights because they don't project color uh, excuse me not color but they don't project that well they don't project that blue color through rain at all it's just not no you don't want to do that to yourself there was many a nights where it was raining I had my lights on I had low beams that were blue like super white and then I had driving fog lights at the bottom and then I had another set of fog lights that were they were all super white and I still couldn't see the road itself these LEDs in this particular video this is the last one you can actually see the LEDs projecting onto the road and that is the difference between seeing the road and not seeing the road. It's the difference between you staying on the road because you can see it and you veering off the road because you couldn't see it. But you can feel it later. Anyway, let's get this video closed. So, don't waste your time buying super white bulbs. Don't waste your time buying bulbs that say they're a hundred and some watts. Get you some good LEDs that have a nice solid design and aren't you know a billion little LEDs that won't be able to keep themselves cooled down and be able to project light on the road properly this is your right I'm out peace